Good afternoon, this is Stephen, uh, Men's Ministry Director. Uh, I'm a little late bringing my uh, words of encouragement. It's been kind of a busy day for us uh, today out working, but it's a beautiful day in the Lord's creation uh, that we had to enjoy, and I hope everybody's enjoying this uh, Memorial Day uh, weekend with things opening up a little bit and people being able to get out and uh, do some things. Uh, we'll be having a online church again tomorrow, and instead of the drive-in church, their uh, pastor and the church staff they're working on uh, getting things together and prepared so that we can meet again in, in at the Lord's house. Which we look forward to that. Look forward to being with our friends, with people we know. Uh, one of the things I like about church, uh, we go there to get uh, refueled, refilled, uh, and built up by others. We're with like-minded people who, for the most part, think a lot like us. And we're with people that help us and build us up. We all have somebody when you uh, you hear their voice or they they say your name, it, it immediately picks you up and it, and it helps you. And uh, hopefully there's people that uh, we do that for. But uh, I was reminded of it uh, uh, this week. Uh, I went to the parts house in Villarica for something for work. And uh, we've had an account at this uh, store ever since it's been open. And they have never, ever once even though I go for the office and get things all the time, got my name on the list that's okay to buy there. Now, the if I go in the morning, those guys know me, and it's, it's okay, and I, I'll always have a PO number. And uh, But I'm in there the other day, and uh, this young gal, uh, I say young, she was probably in her 30s, uh, and she might have checked me out one time before, and... Uh, I have some stuff for work, and uh, I said, oh, yeah, I'm not, she, and she just looks at me and smiles and says, I know who you are. You're Steve. You're okay to buy. I've got you. Just get your P.O., and it just, she knew my name and knew who I was. How much does that mean to us that people know us, know who we are, know a little bit about us? And in a way, it makes us... I guess sometimes feel a little bit important. It makes us feel better. As obviously, uh, when people don't know us or act like they don't, we kind of feel left out and such. And it's sad when that happens at church when we uh, end up feeling left out of things. But uh, the world really doesn't know us. We, we have places that we trade and that we go on a regular basis, and the folks know us and treat us accordingly because we come in a lot we haven't even had that these past several weeks with the uh, coronavirus and stuff but uh it just crossed my, my mind that uh that i do know somebody though i have a savior i have a father who does know my name he knows your name he knows everything about us he knows when we're sad. He knows when we're happy. He knows he's not surprised by anything that happens to us. And he wants us to bring that to him. He wants us to call him by name so he can talk to us and, and help us through the times. And uh, I know some folks may have been through some troubling times with this uh, virus due to uh, work situations and different things and the sickness and just whatever has come your way, but knowing that the Lord is there, He knows us, and He's prepared to help us and put people in our path that are willing to help us, that he's, he's, He wants to use. And it's, it's just a wonderful thing. He knows us. He knows everything about us, and He wants us to be happy, and He wants, he wants to help us and build us up. And it brings to mind the Bible actually a whole chapter that just really really says it all it's uh, psalms uh, 139 is search me O god and know my heart O lord you have searched me and known me 
You know me when I sit down and when I rise up. You discern my thoughts from afar. You search out my path and my lying down and are acquainted with all my ways, even before a word is on my tongue. Behold, O Lord, you know it all together. You know it all together. I'm sorry. You hem me in behind and before and lay your hand upon me. Such knowledge is too wonderful for me. It is high. I cannot attain it. Where shall I go from your spirit? Or where shall I flee from your presence? If I ascend to heaven, you are there. If I make my bed in Sheol, you are there. If I take the wings of the morning and dwell in the uttermost parts of the sea, even there your hand shall lead me, and your right hand shall hold me. If I say, Surely the darkness shall cover me, and the light about me be night, even the darkness is not dark to you. The night is bright as the day, for darkness is as light with you. For you formed my inward parts. You knitted me together in my mother's womb. I praise you, for I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Wonderful are your works. My soul knows it very well. My frame was not hidden from you. When I was being made in secret, intricately woven in the depths of the earth, your eyes saw my unformed substance. In your book were written every one of them the days that were formed for me, when as yet there was none there. How precious to me are your thoughts, O God! How vast is the sum of them! If I would count them, they are more than the sand. I awake, and I am still with you. O oh, that you would slay the wicked, O God! O men of blood, depart from me. They speak against you of malicious intent. Your enemies take your name in vain. Do I not hate those who hate you, O Lord? And do I not loathe those who rise up against you? I hate them with complete hatred. I count them my enemies. Search me, O God, and know my heart. Try me and know my thoughts. And see if there be any grievous way in me. And lead me, Lord, in the way everlasting. And he will. He'll lead us in that way. He knows our thoughts. Uh, in Jeremiah, it says, The heart is evil beyond all things. We should trust the Lord and not our hearts. So we need to remember that and give our hearts and our minds over to Him that He can guide us because He knows us. He knows everything about us. He knew us before we were made. And that's just such a wonderful and beautiful thought. No matter where we're at in our life circumstances, we can look at this verse and know that we're fearfully and wonderfully made he has a special place for each of us and something he wants us to do. So uh, that was on, that's, that's what's been on my heart this week, being known and knowing that no matter what, the Father, our Father, Jesus, that name above all names, knows me, he knows you, and he's there ready and waiting for us.